Hello everyone, Asset Laminate Cosplay here. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the projects that I made this year. Um, I've made quite a lot and I'm pretty proud of them, so I wanted to share them with you today. Please note, uh, I will also show you a few patterns that I used and, um, and say uh, the name of a few companies, but I'm not sponsored by any of them. This is all my own work. I will uh, link all of the patterns that I used, all of the commercial patterns that I used, down below in the description box for you, so check that out. This video will be split up in three parts. The first part will be about the wool projects that I made this year. Then the second part will be about the cotton projects. Uh, and then the third part will be about the plans that I have in 2021. So, enjoy! So the first project that I made this year is this black and yellow uh, ochre uh, wool vest that I made. Completely made with the pattern from La Maison Victor, um, which is this magazine. It's a special uh, edition for uh, patterns for men. So I used uh, the Vic Yas uh, pattern for this jacket, but I had to alter it um, a lot. Uh, like originally the pattern had a place for a zipper in the front, but I changed it into these buttons, uh, so I extended the front. Um, I also added cuffs. I didn't do a collar, but, did, uh, but I did do a wool uh, bias tape along the neckline here. And I think that's pretty much it that I um, changed about this pattern. Um, I really like this. Um, so. In, my fabric, in the fabric store where I usually go to, you have these bins with remnants, uh, so offcuts pieces of fabric, um, and I really fell in love, fell in love with this uh, fabric, like a wool fabric. It was also ochre and black, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna buy it because I don't, re I'm not really sure what I want to do with that, so I didn't buy it and I left the store. But after a week of debating of like, oh, I actually really, really like this fabric, I went back to buy it and it was already gone, sadly. So I went, so I went to one of the staff members and I asked them like, hey, I've, saw, I've seen this uh, fabric in the remnant bin, it's gone already, do you perhaps still have it or uh, is this fabric still going to be available? And sadly they uh, were not, but they said they also had some other remnants from it and I bought those. And I really like it. It's it's got little pockets in here um, that I really like. Um, it's also fully lined in in black. Yeah, and I think it's a really nice project, and it's it's really really cute, and I really I really like to wear it actually. The second or second and third project that I, we will talk about now is my wool suit set. So um, I saw this fabric on uh, Budgetstoffen.nl. And I really, really fell in love with it. Um, it's a it's a wool type fabric with this um, red and white stripes on it, and I really like the retro feel to it. Um, and yeah, I also uh, so I immediate I immediately bought like three meters of it because I knew like this is going to be an amazing suit set. So this suit set is composed of two pieces. Um, it's made with some pants. Some long pants, as you can see. This is the front with like the front zipper fly, um, and it has pockets that are also very very well camouflaged, which I really like. And I also did the uh, back pockets, like the welt pockets. But I do actually a little bit uh, regret that a little bit because these pockets are really hard to do, and there are actually like tiny, you can't fit anything in here for some reason, um, and they're also kind of messy on the inside, um, but they look nice on the outside. And then the second thing that composes this vest, this suit, is this waistcoat. Um, this one I, li I like a lot better. Um, it's really nice, it, it got this uh, band on the back that's supposed to cinch it in at the back, so it's, it fits really nicely, but I don't really need that, because the pattern fits me quite well. Um, it closes down the back with these snaps, snap buttons that I sewed on. And it is lined in this uh, brown cotton, and it has a, a layer of brown 
uh, of like brownish uh, interfacing in, on the inside, like an interlining piece. These buttons on the front are also really nice uh, because I bought them at I bought them at Veritas, um, and they were really eye catching to me because like if you look really really close, you can see that they are like kind of wood wood grain texture. Um, I I don't think they're actual wood. I think it's like plastic painted to look like wood. Um, but I really like the detail and I think it, it fits really nicely in with this type of, of clothing. Uh, so the pants is made uh, with uh, this pattern from Burda um, that I already had for a pretty long time. It's number 6933 if you want. Um, and I do like this pattern but I want to try other patterns as well. Uh, mainly because, like I said before, the, the pockets on, in the pants are really small. They're really finicky to work with and I don't really like that. Um, and then the vest is also a pattern that I had for a long time. It's this Burda Young pattern, easy. Um, and it is number 7810 if you want. So next up we will talk about uh, two pants as well that I made. So I made a green pant out of this green fabric with white stripes. And I also made a black pants out of wool fabric. Um, so both of these were also made using that same pattern that I used for my uh, wool suit. Um, the Burda pattern... It's the Burda pattern uh, 6933, so this one. Uh, it was the same pattern, but I didn't add the back pockets, I just added the front pockets. Um, so here is the green one, which I absolutely adore. Um, this fabric is actually from like the thrift store and my mom got home once and told me like oh hey I found this really nice fabric for like two euros fifty or something um, and, I, and it's really cool uh, like can you make a pants for me out of this and I looked at it and it was like damn this is not enough fabric to make pants for her but it was enough to make pants for me so I made a, a, pen, a pair of pants for me um, I really really like this uh, this pants, it's really fun, it's really nice to wear, it also feels really comfortable on my legs. Um, I don't have any problems with it with it being, being itchy or something. I really really like it. Um, so yeah, this is this was definitely a win and I'm, I am wearing this a lot. But then this black pants... Um, is really nice. Um, when I cleaned up my closet, I noticed that um, I didn't have enough black um, black uh, trousers. So I wanted to uh, make black trousers out of wool. So I bought this wool again from uh, Budget Stuff of But um, the problem with this wool is that it's very itchy. Actually, it, it feels very scratchy on my legs. So I don't wear this uh, too often, actually. Maybe this year I will invest in some uh, black cotton to put in here as lining so it doesn't feel so scratchy and maybe I feel I will feel like wearing it more then. But for now, uh, this is my black wool pants. Then we have this magnificent wool cape that I made. Um, I was really inspired by some uh, wool capes that I found on Pinterest. And I really wanted to recreate one of them, um, so I made this um, brown wool autumn cape. I call it autumn because it really reminds me of like autumn leaves falling and stuff like that. Uh, so it's made from this uh, brown, uh, it's polyester wool, but it's wool so it's kind of warm and fuzzy. And then it has this uh, brown lining on the inside. Uh, these that you see here, these brown stripes, are actually not pockets but are to let my arms go through when I'm wearing the cape so I can easily um, give money or something like that or I can grab the cape and swoosh it over me like a, um, like a blanket. And then this is the back which has the seam down in the middle and here it extends into a bigger pleat I guess uh, out of this darker brown fabric. And it also has like this tab with this little button these buttons are also really, really nice because I actually um, bought them at a market once. Uh, I think I bought like four buttons of these. Um, but they're basically these little buttons with a little reindeer on it. 
And I, I, I really like it actually. Um, I haven't worn this uh, very much because, of course, because of COVID, I couldn't go out very much this autumn. Um, but I really like it. The only thing that I don't really like it about it is this back detail. Um, it's so it extends in the bottom, but it's like actually a little, like a huge buck pleat actually. So I will show it to you on the inside. So on the inside, you can see here, this is this, bo bo this box plate actually that is completely attached on the neckline. But because this is so much wool and all of it, it's actually really, really heavy on the back. So it tends to like slide down my back, which is not really that nice. Um, but still, I really like it. I hope I can wear this more this year um, because I, I did spend a lot of time making it and I yeah, I, I do like it. I mean, mom was definitely very surprised when I came downstairs wearing this, like, look what I made. And she was like, oh no, what are you doing again? So this pattern, um, I didn't use a commercial pattern. I drafted my own. Uh, so this uh, is a half circle cape, I think it's called, uh, because it's composed of two quarter circles that are sewn together into a full uh, circle. Um, and so I got this to arm slits, pull my arms through. Maybe I want to make more capes in the future, but for now I will stick to this one. And then the last uh, pieces that I made in the wool category are these two little guys. Um, these two are two Gatsby caps that I made. Um, I found a free pattern online, um, which is a little bit of a regret. I will talk about that a little bit later. Um, but I made these out of scrap fabric that I had uh, so this one was made obviously from the uh, scrap, uh, scrap fabrics of the wool cape. Uh, so we got the, the dark brown wool and the uh, light brown wool. Um, and I was a little bit confused when making it. This was the first one that I made. So it's got a lot of mistakes in it. Like the brim is way too big. Um, it looks like, like one of those baseball caps and I don't really like that. So I am going, I'm thinking about remaking this to be a bit better. Um, and also it also has this little, these little mistakes in the corner which, where it has like a pleat in it. Um, so yeah, I was not very happy with this uh, Gatsby cap. Um, also when I'm wearing it, the uh, dart at the back really sticks out. Um, but then I did a second attempt, which I was much happier about, and this was from the remnants from the uh, black and ochre cape. And I really like this one. I made the brim shorter uh, this time, which I really, really like. Uh, the, uh, like the ends of this, this point piece, uh, as you can see, it doesn't uh, create like a pleat like it did on, on this one, which is really nice. And then it's also aligned in the, the same black fabric that I used for the uh, ochre cape. And I really, really like this one. It's, it's really, really nice to wear, actually. Um, the only regret that I have is that it isn't really that warming. Um, it's, so I was thinking about putting some like ear flaps like deer stalkers have uh, here. But I thought I would look a little bit weird, so I didn't put them in. But I, yeah, I, I do like this one. Um, I am going to wear it during summer probably or during like spring. Um, yeah, so that's that. So now we'll go on to the cotton project that I made this year. So let's start with the first one that you have probably already seen. This cars themed uh, shirt that I made. Um, this was also one of the remnants at my uh, fabric store that I found. And it was actually really, really short. It was like only a meter and 25 centimeters, I think, or like even 20 centimeters. I, so I knew I um, wasn't going to be able to make like a full um, like shirt out of it. But then I thought like, why not make it like short sleeve? And that fit actually perfectly. Like I only have like this tiny little scraps left over. And I'm really, really proud of this uh, shirt. It's, it's really nice. I uh, had a lot of... Um, I spent a lot of time making sure that all of the cars went in the same direction all the way like on the sleeves, on the front, on the back and on the collar as well. Um, and maybe you didn't see it, but this pocket that I put here is completely hidden in the pattern. And I, 
I spent a little bit of uh, quite a lot of time on this uh, to make this perfect but it's it's really nice and I really like it. Uh, the pattern that I use for this shirt is uh, this pattern by Burda again. Uh, this one it's number 6931. Um, and I did really like this shirt. I want to make more in the future and uh, maybe with other cotton fabrics and it's really comfortable, it's really breathable and I can't wear it to wear it more in summer. So then the second shirt that I made this year was this blue shirt. I'm sorry it's it's not ironed or anything, cotton is like a natural fiber so it creases very very easily. Um, but this is a pretty nice uh, shirt that I made um, with these four buttons down the front and also a hidden pocket here um, which I don't plan on putting anything in because it's too small. Um, and too light, but I really really like it. I already made one of these shirts in brown actually, uh, as you can see. Uh, this was the first the first one that I made also with that hidden pocket and with these uh, brass uh, buttons on the front. Um, and I did really like wearing this, um, but I also really like wearing this blue version. Um, and just because it's cotton, it's really really breathable, it's really comfortable during summer, um, yeah, and it's a really cute, nice shirt to wear. Um, the pattern that I used was from the same uh, magazine as I showed before, the La Maison Victor. But this time it was the uh, Mores Hemd. I will put all of the uh, pattern names in the description below if you want to check it out. So the next project that I will talk about is a little bit of a meme project actually. Um, I had a lot of fabrics left over in my fabric stash and I was like getting crazy and I wanted to get rid of some of it. Of it. So part of as a joke I made this, um, but I made a minion tote bag. Um, I really really love this tote bag, it's really big, it's really nice, but it also has minions on it, which I love. Um, so it's completely made out of leftover materials that I have, like this was leftover from Wally, -E, I think. Then it got this um, this pleather uh, details for his for their goggles. I used some fleece uh, for the uh, eyes and then painted on the eye. Uh, it's just painted with acrylics. I didn't really bother doing it with um, with fabric uh, with fabric paint because I didn't really care. Um, and also got these two black buttons on here and a little pocket which literally nothing can fit in here. And also with the like the Gru symbol on his belly. Um, fun fact about this: when I cut this out, I noticed that it was like mirror, um, and I forgot to put it in mirror uh, to iron it on. So the as you can see, like the the G is not in the right direction, but I didn't really care. Um, it makes this minion a little bit more unique. So the ties are made out of the same. Uh, black fabric that I just had lying around and then the whole inside is lined with a grey fabric the same grey fabric that I used for the goggle itself and although this project started as a joke it's actually one of my favorite pieces and it's really recognizable as well so yeah I, I really like this and this is one of my favorite pieces that I, that I use so the next two projects that I will show you I actually don't have in my possession anymore and um, because I made them for other people um, but I wanted to show them anyway uh, but I will also show some pictures on this side of the screen. Uh, so the first project that I made was a dress actually using this um, purple fabric uh, that I bought from Vita Stoffen again. Um, but this dress was made for a friend of mine. I was getting quite sick of uh, always making uh, stuff for for a men's figure, uh, for myself. I was getting quite sick of that and I wanted to experiment a little bit and uh, try to make a dress. But I'm not going to make a dress for myself. So I uh, asked my friend Nina, which is an amazing human being, queen of the universe. Uh, I asked her like, hey, would you like um, how would you like it if I made a dress for you? And she immediately went like, hell yes, do it. So uh, we discussed some fabrics, we discussed some patterns that I uh, would use. Uh, so we came around this purple cotton 
And I also uh, used this ruby dress uh, that I found online. It was a really nice pattern actually. I really liked sewing with this pattern um, because it had had like a really um, like a fun retro uh, pattern to it, a really fun uh, retro skirt. And also the back of this dress, as you can see in the photos, also has like a really deep V, which looks so elegant on her. Um, and I really, really like this project. I, re I was really glad I could make something for her using this, because it's, it was re a really nice experience. And the second thing that I made was, um, was a pair of pants uh, for my boyfriend. Um, so it's actually more like a, a lounging, lounging pants, I guess you could call it. Uh, but it's made out of this pink flamingo material. And I used the same uh, fabric, the same pattern as uh, I used before, the Berta, um, the Berta 6933 for that, with an elasticated waistband and pockets. And he really likes it, and um, it's really cool to see him wearing it uh, in house. And he really likes it because it's really breathable, it's really comfortable, and it's especially made to his size. And of course, because uh, 2020 was the year of coronavirus, I also made a lot of face masks for myself this year. Um, I wasn't really in a mental space this, uh, this year uh, to actually make uh, face masks in bulk for other people or for other companies. So I mostly made um, face masks for myself or for my family. So um, I usually I used this uh, black and white striped material that I had left over from my Wally cosplay. Um, and I deliberately um, put like the print on the outside and like put like white on the inside to really uh, know what uh, side should touch my face. Uh, so every time uh, the same uh, side touches my face every time every time I wear it. So yeah, these were really easy to make um, pattern wise, but uh, my machine hated making these because there were so many layers involved. Um, but yeah, um, I got some face masks fa made for myself. So uh, now onto the projects that I would make uh, would like to make in 2021. I have a, quite a few ideas already that I uh, really really want to create and want to experiment with this year. So first off, I want to make a winter coat for myself. I really really want to uh, try to make this coat out of uh, black wool uh, as natural as as I possibly can, uh, depending on my budget. Um, and I also already found a pattern, which I will I'll show here, which is a, um, 90, an 1860s uh, coat, and I really, really like the cut of it, so I would really like to make that. Uh, so I also have, uh, have seen on the website of Reconstructing History a 1920s swimsuit that I really liked, so I also wanted to make that. Uh, swimsuits for me are really unflattering mostly and I don't really like wearing those but uh, the 1920s one really really like amazes me it's really nice like with the tank top built in with the shorts uh, do, uh, I will also have to do some some experiments on uh, what fabric I can use uh, what fabric can tolerate like uh, like chlor um, like the, 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 chem the chemicals in water uh, what uh, fabrics go see-through, uh, if I have to uh, go ahead and line this swimsuit, so we will see about that. Um, then uh, I recently uh, bought a, uh, fab some fabric uh, second-hand from someone, um, and to further, uh, to further prove my obsession with minions, I bought some minion fabric. Um, no worries, this will not become um, like outdoor stuff. I think I'm going to use this as some pajamas. Um, I was a little bit disappointed with this fabric um, because the seller said it was cotton, but this is obviously not cotton as it is like t-shirt material that also rolls over when it's stretched and it's also really really stretchy so I don't not even sure why she said it was cotton because it's obviously not. I will try to make a, a pajama set out of this fabric uh, using the, the minions as my inspiration. Um, but I will have to buy some other um, fabric, maybe find the same type of fabric, but maybe in this blue, um, to make the sleeves of a shirt and maybe some details on the pants for this pajama. 
I also have some costumes planned. I really, really want to make uh, the uh, Love Life Fest jacket that Mimori wears in uh, the Love Life Fest uh, concert. I will put a picture of it here. I really, really want to make it. It's, again, it has a, a ton of details that I really, really love. And I'm really excited to get started, but it's gonna be a expensive boy and a really um, time-consuming boy because a lot of the patterns I have to pattern out myself and also it has a lot of um, details that I have to f still figure out like um, the sleeves are like really puffy um, and they also called like leg of mouton. Um, I will put it here. The leg of mouton is a, f a very specific kind of gathered sleeve and I can't really wrap my brain around it and I really want to figure out how I'm, how I'm going to, s uh, to do that. But I really want to make this jacket look as close to the show as possible but also look as neat as possible. I also have a plan on maybe making um, a Love Life apron. In one of the episodes uh, from the Love Life Sunshine uh, season uh, the girls uh, are in, at an aquarium and they, uh, like the, the people working at the, the restaurant, are wearing these really cute uh, aprons with, uh, I think he's called Uchichi, um, on it with like, um, like this uh, brown uh, apron and I really want to make that and I'm thinking about make it, maybe making that into a tutorial for here on YouTube, so stick around and you may see that happen. So those were all the projects uh, that I made uh, in 2020 and also all the plans that I have for 2021. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, this was the first video that I made uh, talking to a camera, so it was really uh, difficult and I learned a lot. Uh, but we will see you in editing. Good luck, uh, future Martin. In the comments, please let me know which one was your favorite of the items that I showed you in this video. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more sewing uh, shenanigans from me. See you later. Love, I will shoot!